you want to know you want to know what pure glenar hemorrhage movement is pure so i'm going to take my right hand i'm coming around the back of the shoulder i'm going to grab the spine of the scapula and i'm going to keep it from moving and i'm just going to take an into abduction without allowing the spine of the scapula to move and i should be getting a pure 90 degrees glenar hemorrhage with an inflow and that's normal. Okay, if she did this actively, and did this, I'm not sure how much of that is pure and how much of that is scapular thoracic. So you're gonna block the scapula. Very nice. Should be 90. And she's got 90, 95 or so, that's what I thought. Okay, so that's abduction. Adduction. We're gonna have Anna's shrug her shoulder towards her ear. We're going to come in we're going to fix coracoid process, spine of the scapula, start her out into abduction, and then take her into adduction. You're basically checking the superior cavity. You can see that Anna has some superior cavity, superior cavity. Let's see what she gets her elbow. Can you do the other side so we can see? Let's see if we can get their elbow to the side. 